What's going on you guys? How's everybody doing today? It is absolutely pouring outside so I thought it'd just be the perfect opportunity to share with you guys a little Photoshop tutorial. Okay, so about two days ago I posted a photo, a car photo to my Instagram and you guys loved it. I also shared a before and after edit onto my story. I got a lot of questions asking, how did I manage to do the, the sky replacement? I did that in Photoshop, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly how I do it. It's really, really easy, and if you do it quick, you can get it done in seconds, literally. So let's go ahead, dive into Photoshop. Let's get this done. Okay, so I've opened up Photoshop here, and I've got my car photo in here, as well as the sky that I'm gonna put into that photo. So first thing you wanna do is make sure you're selected your, your base layer, go into select and click select and mask. Wait for it to load up a bit, my computer's a little bit slow. Okay, so once that has loaded up, it took my computer quite a while to do that. The selection you wanna make is the quick selection tool here, and then what you're gonna do is just drag over the parts of the image that you want to keep. So everything but the sky. So let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna take a minute, it's gonna load quite slowly. Okay, so everything has been selected except the sky, but if you zoom in here, if we click the magnifying button, zoom in, you can see that parts behind the tree are still not selected. So in order to fix that, we wanna click the refine brush tool, and then we're just gonna drag over those parts where it's still not highlighted. Okay, so I've got everything selected, and it, it obviously isn't gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some parts which you miss, in order to fix this, you want to kind of choose a sky that is really similar to the one you had before and that'll just help hide the parts that aren't really masked properly. So now that everything is selected in the photo that we want, there's actually a bit of tree here that's still selected, but that's okay. It, it won't really be that noticeable in the final product. Next, what we're going to do is click OK and then we can duplicate the background layer like that. Next, we can go ahead and click this button here. It looks like a Japanese flag, but it is a layer mask button. And what that has done is it has removed the sky. So that's what an image looks like now. It's basically everything but the sky. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and drag our new sky in like that. Click OK. Drag it where you want it and then just drag it beneath that mask. And that looks pretty good. So that's looking pretty good now. But if you want to make it look a little bit more realistic, I suggest you go ahead and click the filter button, blur, and add some Gaussian blur. That just kind of makes it a little bit more realistic. Not too much, just a little bit. So there we have it. That is how easy it is to change the sky using Photoshop. It just takes a few seconds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go down below, hit the subscribe button, go like the video. Go let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. I'm always open to suggestions. And uh, with that said, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.